Information for over 200 million Twitter profiles is getting sold on the dark web for $2. Well, in this video, I'll break down how a hacker was able to collect information on 200 million Twitter profiles using a vulnerability and crowdsourcing some information. And stick around to the end because I'll show you how to check if your profile was impacted during this latest issue. Since July of 2022, hackers have been distributing bits and pieces of information that had been scraped from Twitter. Now this included two sets of information. The first is public information that anyone can get if they just visit a Twitter profile. The second is private information like emails and phone numbers tied to specific Twitter profiles. Now how the heck did we get ourselves into this position in the first place? Now I told you that this hack was made possible because of two sets of information. Number one was a vulnerability and number two was crowdsourced data. That crowdsourced data was email addresses and phone numbers from other breaches. Hackers have access to millions and millions and millions of phone numbers and email addresses because of other hackers that are breaking into different organizations and then leaking that information. So anyone can go in, collect that information and create a huge repository of all of these hacked email addresses and phone numbers. So the attackers started there. The vulnerability was specific to a Twitter API. Now, an API is just a mechanism to query information or the systems behind Twitter. The hacker was able to use this API to submit an email address or a phone number and return the associated user ID for that Twitter profile. We can see the initial vulnerability that was identified on the HackerOne platform, which is just a bug bounty program where hackers can go in, find vulnerabilities, and submit information on them so that the impacted organization can patch that. So from this, we can see that the attacker had identified the vulnerability that allowed them to identify a Twitter ID without any authentication. While this doesn't sound like a big deal, it is because the attacker was able to do that unauthenticated. They didn't have to log into Twitter to do this. The fact that the attacker was able to go in, submit this information from other data sources, the email addresses, the phone numbers, and in return, match that with a Twitter profile, you can see that we're able to combine this information together. And the attacker did just that. So combining all of this information together, the attackers were initially saying that they had information on 400 million Twitter users, but after some deduplication that other security breaches have done, it's looking like it's closer to about 200 million, maybe a little bit more, closer to 225 million. The attackers took this information and first tried to extort Twitter saying that, hey, you need to buy this or we're gonna release it publicly. They then said that they were gonna sell it to individual people for $60,000 a pop. Uh, and now they've just decided that they're gonna release this data in bulk anyway. So while this really sounds bad because of the number of impacted profiles, you can see that, yeah, the data is not the greatest because it is matching up a Twitter profile with a email address and a potential phone number there. But much of this data is already publicly available. It's really the combination that is a little bit scary. So the question remains, how do you know whether you were impacted or not? So I promised you from the beginning that I would show you how to do that. So let's dig into that now. There's an awesome website called Have I Been Pwned? And the primary purpose for this website is to validate whether your email or phone number has been involved in a data breach. The website is incredibly easy to use. All you need to do is enter your email address or your phone number, and you can check to see whether any of that has been included in public data breaches. Now it's super easy to use. All you need to do is just type in an email address. So we'll just do this with test at test.com. And you can see that it's going to return all the results that we have. Now we can see that from January, 2022, there was references to that API vulnerability and how the attacker was able to steal information there. That data included 6.7 million unique email addresses and it included the various bios, locations, names, phone numbers, profile photos, and usernames. We can see the more recent one, which is in early 2023, where there was 200 million records that were scraped from Twitter and included, again, email addresses, names, the profile names, as well as the usernames. So I encourage you to go through that exercise of checking to see if your information was included in that leak. If it was, 
really just be on the lookout for phishing emails because now you're probably part of a more targeted phishing campaign that's coming your way that's going to try to potentially grab your Twitter account information or username and, and password, or it could go into other areas trying to get financial information or things of that nature. Unfortunately, this is the reality we live in today where attackers are taking all this disparate pieces of information and putting them together to try to get more targeted phishing attempts to you. And that's it. This Twitter hack really isn't a big hack against Twitter itself. It's more about a vulnerability that led an attacker to be able to take other sources of information, tie it all together with, uh, with private information, and put these profiles together to just build a more comprehensive targeting profile for future attacks. And always remember that attackers love to target your account information, specifically your username and password, because that is going to allow them to monetize other attacks for them. So take a look at my video on password vaults if you're in the market for a new one or if you're just looking to kind of freshen up your knowledge on it. It's always good to stay sharp on different security technologies to make sure that you are staying as secure as possible. All right, we'll see you later.